Konsula von Uganda. Ich hoffe, er ist hier. Ah, da. Guten Abend. Schön, dass Sie hier sind. Vielen Dank. Ja, meine Damen und Herren, <lacht> Botschafter Zipalega konnte leider heute nicht hier sein, das war sehr, sehr bedauert. Aber er ist nicht nur Botschafter für Deutschland, sondern auch akkreditiert beim Vatikan. Und der Papst äh, ist äh, auf der Besuchsreise auf dem Weg nach Uganda. Und da muss natürlich der ugandische Botschafter zum Vatikan auch dabei sein. Und aus diesem Grunde konnte er hier sein, was er sehr bedauert. Er hat mich gebeten, äh, seine Ansprache äh, abzulesen. Und das mache ich auch gerne und mit Freuden, zumal ich mich selbst äh, engagiere in der Weiterbildung und auch in anderen Projekten, wo wir versuchen, zum Beispiel duale Berufsausbildung gerade als ein Pilotprojekt in Uganda zu etablieren. Und ich finde es auch großartig von Herrn Betty, was er hier auf die Beine gestellt hat und dass diejenigen, die sich ja anstrengen, die was werden wollen, die nach oben streben, hierfür belohnt werden. Also die Rede von Herrn Botschafter Tibalega steht unter dem Titel Education for Youth Empowerment and Nation Building. Honorable Minister, uh, dear Mr. Betty, distinguished invited guests, dear students, and ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador Marcel Tibalega extends his deepest gratitude for the gracious invitation you extended to him on his very special occasion as we celebrate and honor the achievements of young African scholars. It is also my great personal pleasure and privilege to be here with you to commend you on your tremendous educational accomplishments here in Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to celebrate for the fifth time the African Youth Education Award. Like in previous years, uh, we are honoring those students who have successfully completed their chosen field of studies. Education is a foundation of any strong society. In the case of Uganda, despite numerous challenges, the nation has come a long way from the educational philosophy of colonial times, which emphasized job seeking rather than job creation. In Uganda, steady improvements have been made in this area. For example, in 1997, government introduced Universal Primary Education, UPE, the policy program in which all children should be able to attend primary school for free, and in 2007, Universal Secondary Education, USE, as a continuation of the said UPE. Also an integral part of Uganda's education system are tertiary and vocational training courses as viable options for students who are more practical-based learners or keen to enter a specific trade. Among the many courses on offer, popular courses include carpentry, hairdressing, or mechanical apprentices. It is clear to see that the link between a vocational course and job at the end and the financial security that comes with it. Ladies and gentlemen, inspirational. Simon Nguma is a physicist and the first in Uganda to work with solar energy for the benefit of his fellow Ugandans. Mrs. Beatrice Ogodokawa is a successful scientist and pediatrician who cares for AIDS orphans in her country. Both of them had to overcome tremendous uh, personal challenges to achieve their educational goals. There are many more such examples to show why education is a good investment, not only in nation building, but also in personal empowerment. Through such capacity building, it is also possible to come up with a core team of trainers, of trainees, which benefits more people at the grassroots level in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of uh, His Excellency Ambassador Tipaleka, I would like to thank you for being here today 
It is my belief that in the spirit of youth empowerment and education, the generation of young Africans will seize opportunity to make a difference and to realize their goals to become open-minded, educated, and productive human beings, especially when they get back to their home countries. Once again, I thank you all for your commitment and dedication to this worthy case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ja, ich hoffe, 